My name is Deanne Erdman and I'm with Baylor College of Medicine. Comparing sizes of microbes is the sixth activity in a unit called the Science of Microbes and it's aligned with the national standards. In this activity students are going to compare sizes and shapes of microbes and they're going to create a scale model so that they can be able to or begin to relate to microscopic size. It's also a good application of measurement skills. One of the first things that you want to do in order to get ready is to gather your materials. In this activity, you'll see that I have it arranged on a tray, which is a nice way for disseminating materials, as well as uh, an, an easy way for students at the end of the period, uh, the class period, to, be, to bring them back to you. So we have cellophane tape, we have hand lenses, rulers, markers, scissors. We have a sentence that is typed out in 12-point Helvetica, and it has, and what we're after uh, on this sentence at, basically is the period at the end of the sentence. That's one of the, that's what we're going to be comparing uh, microbes, the size of microbes to that, that, that period in a scale model. Then you'll need a microscope, uh, a microscope, microbe scaling chart, and you'll need some paper so that students can create some scale, uh, some scale models. Uh, you can have colored paper or plain paper and, uh, just depending on whatever is available to you. You also will need a, a meter stick. In, uh, uh, as far as safety, you always want to consider safety. In this particular activity, uh, other than uh, hurting themselves with scissors, there's no special concerns, but it's always important to get that into students' mind that they need to consider safety. The first thing uh, as a kind of a focusing uh, point for this particular activity is you want them to examine the period at the end of this little tiny strip. Um, you know, we'll see if they can tell what shape the period is uh, with their naked eye they, and have them draw what they think it looks like on an enlarged, in an enlarged picture. After that, the next thing you want them to do is to take a hand lens and look more closely at the uh, at the shape of the period, and they're going to see that it's a, that it's a square. That's why we picked uh, the Helvetica uh, font size. Uh, once again, ha have a discussion of what the hand lens uh, affords them to be able to see. Have them make a drawing of that and put in the detail that they can see. Now, the uh, Helvetica uh, period is 500 micrometers in length and width. This is a good time to review the metric system. A millimeter is, uh, is equal to 1,000 uh, micrometers. A centimeter, 10,000. And a meter uh, is equal to a, a million micrometers. So once they uh, kind of get that back in their head, then you want to ask them how many uh, periods could line up end to end to cover the, the meter stick and work through the math with them. And uh, once they figure that out, they'll see that it takes 2,000. So this begins to start putting in perspective the size of this Helvetica period. Now, what, what's the purpose of all of this? The purpose is that we're, we're gonna enlarge this um, uh, period and we're going to create a scale model so that now they can see what the size of a, of a microbe is in comparison to this small tiny period that they can see with, uh, without a microscope but not very well. So you want students to understand what a scale model is, that it's a representation of a larger or a smaller object and it lets us put it in perspective to other kinds of objects. And you may get some students to come up with some different examples and ideas of that. So now if we take this little, uh, this little period and now we want to increase it 5,000 times and when we do that it makes uh, a, a square 2.5 meters long uh, or wide and 2.5 meters uh, in height. And so we want to cut that out of a big piece of banner paper. The next thing that we're going to do is to take the microscope scaling chart. If you uh, look on the chart you'll see there's a general representation of the microbe itself tells what group they're in, gives a little description, and then it tells the actual size. Then it's been converted to the size of our enlarged Helvetica period. So it's been enlarged 5,000 times. So now it's a little bit easier for them to make, a, to make a model of. You'll want to assign different groups to different microbes, 
and have them uh, using paper, the markers, be able to, uh, to make an enlarged model. You may even want to have uh, students do a little research on the internet or you may have some references in class where they can add some details to it. <clears throat> Once they make the model, the next thing that we want to do is we want them to, uh, as a class, go in and place them on the, the, uh, the model of the period. So they're going to be able to see that this, this Helvetica period, we've, we've enlarged to two and a half meters wide, and some of these microbes will end up being very small in relationship to that and it helps them to put it in perspective as to just how big and how small some of these different microbes are. Once the activity is over, there's lots of extensions because once they start researching different microbes, uh, they will see that there's a big range in sizes, uh, that even different species within the same genus of organisms vary greatly in size. They uh, may want to make some three-dimensional models that give them a better idea of what some of these look like. Once again, numerous resources on the web that will help you be able to extend this uh, activity. There's a link to a downloadable version of a PDF found with this presentation. Thank you.